welcome back. This will be my attempt number two at the lollipop swirl challenge for this month of December. Um, I <laughs> I'll probably show a short version of what I did for the first one, which was yesterday. Uh, it was sad. It was bad. And a lot of it came down to overblending. So I'm going to be really careful this time not to overblend. Everything is room temp, nice and chilly. Um, and I'm changing how I'm going to be filming it. So I'm going to set up my soap like you see here. But if you notice, there's no mold. And what that uh, means is that I actually, once I'm done with this part and get my colors done and all that, then we're going to go to the mold, which is behind me. So, um, cause I was so worried about you guys being able to see what I was doing that, uh, yeah, I neglected to make sure that I could see what I was doing and uh, yeah, it didn't work. I mean, like I kind of got a couple lolly looking things out of it, maybe for being generous. So that's our lye solution it has powdered sugar, raw silk and sodium lactate and still water. And we're going to add the remaining liquid as goat's milk and we'll give this a little, couple little blends i'm gonna be watching us really carefully extremely careful with the majority of this um, because I I experienced some major acceleration yesterday for this recipe and I mean part of it could have been the fragrance oils I sincerely doubt it I think I really just over blended the Dickens out of it um, and I don't want to repeat that because uh, these are weird shapes and not things that I could easily you know, if I do other challenge soaps and it's not a big deal, right? Like I can easily sell them, but like these are, these are a little weird. <laughs> so, um, I don't want to, I don't want to muck her at all up. All right. So do I want to pour a little bit more than that? I'm going to leave it like that. Worst case scenario, we can kind of change the color. So we're going to do the main stripes. Maybe just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Okay. We're gonna do the main stripes in this kind of orangey color. That's the only thing I didn't like. I kind of went a little too dark, I feel like, with the brownie orange color yesterday because I am trying to make a Nautilus. Uh, so they have kind of this brownie, orangey, depends on which you know what you look at. And this, uh, I'm kind of tickled with myself. This is like spot on. Dang, I'm good. Um, and it's a million different micas. They're all from Nurture Soap. There's golds. There's reds. Actually, I'm going to use all of this because this isn't going to want to color very good. Um, and this, I'm going to try to do like a little accent interior part of the shell with this. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to pour some of this and then I'm going to pour this into it because I wasn't thinking of it right last night. Like actually like the way this works is it's kind of like a dancing funnel. You just happen to be turning the dancing funnel. So if you want, you know, it to do something different than what you you've got it doing right now, you've got to kind of think of it that way to build the different layers and colors inside of it. So that's, that's the plan. All right, let's get this in. We'll add our fragrance oil and then we'll pour. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I blended on my fragrance oil, but this is already getting a little thicker than I expected. Maybe it's this recipe. It's not my normal one. It's one that I actually got from a friend and I'd used it before and it was really fluid. Mm, did something wrong. All right. Let's get our fragrance oil in there. This is pink grapefruit from WSP, AKA Crafter's Choice. And I know from experience, this particular fragrance oil tends to really deaccelerate trace. So I am going to cross my little soapy fingers that if anything, this is too loose. Oh, that feels really good. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, am I gonna have a little bit of redemption? That would be kind of nice after last night's disaster. Last night was bad, so bad. Ooh. Look how nice and soft that is now. It's so fluid. Ooh. Thank you, soap gods, goddess, goddesses, whatever. I'll take it. All right. So now these guys are in their little pouring pitcher. Majority of our shell is going to be white. So I'm going to put most of that in there. And now, I, I don't know if I can move this without, well, let's see. Do, 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 da, 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 da. Don't look at my dirty floor. It's dirty. You're all looking at it now, aren't you? Nothing else to really look at, I bet. But all right. Now we're going to bring this contraption. See, it's a TV dinner tray. Can I turn this? Are you stable? God, this is going to end horribly again, isn't it? All right, well, just slam it. All right, can you see kind of? If I scoot this over more, can you see better? Yeah, you can see. All right, cool. All right, so because I want most of this to be white, I'm going to start with the white. Oh, and this is like super fluid. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. So now I'm just going to do a little, a little bit of the gold. Because remember, I want that to be lined by the orangey ochre shell color. And this is so much easier now that I can see what I'm doing. What a novel thought. Okay. And now we rotate just a little and we do the light again. Which jumped into the colored pour. I don't want that to go scoot over. I hope I'm not the only one that talks to soap like this. Let me know in the comments if I am. Again, not a whole bunch of the yellow. I really want this brown and the white to be the majority of the colors. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 